Hello! Today's May 15th and it's Friday, so it's the best day of the week. Because today is Nonsense Day. We're also doing social media and robots, which are also much more fun categories than Wednesday's slog of government news. <laughs> and speaking of online fun... Oh. Oh, Linode. <laughs> well, while I say the Linode, Linode. thing, uh, Ryan's got to unminimize Krista's window because her video's frozen. Oh, no! <laughs> Thanks, Linode. Thanks for sponsoring this episode of the video. There's an affiliate link below. It's, it'll give you $20. It's like the reverse affiliate thing. See how that works? Uh, if you want to set up a new Linode account, Linode is Linux hosting, although there's point-and-click installers for things like cPanel and a lot of other third-party software. If you want to set up something like NextCloud and have your own cloud document solution, they've more than got you covered. If you're getting your toes in the water with something like Kubernetes, you know, the uh, automation, you know, containerization engine, you want to mess around with Docker or something like that, never been a better time to start. You've got some time probably to level up your skills. What and if I wanted to create my own social media platform because all the other ones have become locked down? Oh, you could run a Mastodon correct. instance. It's like two clicks to do that. Oh, wow. What, what about speech? Could I let my users say whatever they want yes you absolutely could at least until they shut you down <laughs> <laughs> so cloudflare, cloudflare refuses to cloudflare. service you anymore yeah it's like uh yeah you could do the 20 dollar a month cloudflare plan with the linode hosting and that's uh that is a serious amount of hosting horsepower for a relatively small amount of money we've used level one uh, for level one website we've used linode for years and years and years way before they were a sponsor and uh they offer a genuinely good product so you should check them out. And also in the level one store, we have new new stuff. But mostly we have a, 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 a charity relief shirt about the thing that we can't talk about. So if you buy one of those, we're giving all of the money from that away. And a bunch of other YouTubers are doing that too. So, But until you take that step, you will be forced to use the awfulness that is Twitter. Which so far hasn't gone to the point of saying that... Well, there, actually, there's a lot of stuff you're not allowed to say on Twitter. <laughs> but just cursing at people right now is still allowed. So far. Twitter is running a test that is prompting users to revise, quote-unquote, harmful replies. So if you post something that's like, oh my gosh, you are a terrible person. It's like, do you really need to say that? Did you mean that? I think you should say something else. Or nothing at all. God, the amount of tweets that just shouldn't, you just shouldn't express yourself. Like uh, the Roseanne tweets? I don't, I don't keep up with the Roseanne tweets. No, no, that was from, from like a long like time ago. Years ago. Oh, yeah, okay. where yeah, she was just, like, oh, that was... Uh, on I was on Ambien. That was not me. And then they canceled her show. But Roseanne's one of those people who will, will like openly admit that she is out of her mind. And yet, on Twitter, she speaks as if she is not out of her mind. <laughs> you know, um, a couple of years from now, we are going to misremember that like the pandemic killed a bunch of people that it didn't it did not kill oh what's the name of that the, i know what you're talking about african leader oh uh, mandela the mandela effect yeah. yeah it's like oh man they uh you know we lost prince to this pandemic let's, that's let's, going around let's see if we can get one of those started let's try and come up with a good one let's pick somebody out who would say he's gonna be dead prince he is dead <laughs> but it's the joke or is he well, if you are someone with no access to the internet, but you do have a phone, I guess I guess you'd have a phone without a data plan. Or, yeah. Wait a minute. Am I not thinking this through correctly? <laughs> Perhaps you have a, a draconian data cap. I don't know, it's in Peru, so I don't know what Peru's <laughs> online stuff is like, but Facebook is here to help you uh, for your <laughs> help in quotation marks, your data thing. needs, and they're, they're definitely not tracking you. If you're in Peru, beware of this. <laughs> <laughs> Discover is Facebook's new effort to help quote, quote unquote people access websites for free, but with limits. So this is another way that Google Google. This is another way that Facebook can look at everything that you're doing on your phone, and you know maybe it's valuable to people in Peru that don't have just a straight up data plan. I guess. I imagine that maybe there, it's it's probably now that I think about it, it's like Africa where it's pay per megabyte. So, but you're still transferring data. Yeah. Uh, but they strip out the uh, images and videos, which I, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I'll but, if you still get the CSS, but you don't get any images and videos. Well, you know, you could build your own proxy on Linode that does all sorts of things <laughs> like that. 
and that would be fine. My favorite proxy on Linode is the upside down internet, which makes all the pictures upside down and backwards. And Link says, am I a joke to you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you can get this service and it'll give you up to 20 megabytes for per month, I think, which actually is a lot when you're only downloading text, text and CSS. And uh, I guess this gets around whatever limits you might have. <laughs> that would, uh, if I only had 20 megabytes a month and it was this the quarantine, I would only be downloading books from Project Gutenberg. Oh, you got to get news. Well, news maybe, but mostly books. Like it would be like 80-20. Hmm. I would have to admit that I wouldn't limit myself to Project Gutenberg. Well, something, well, stuff like that. Like I could, that I could download and have the book forever. It would all be like book downloads. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that too, probably. <laughs> so, uh, we have explored the idea. Actually, Krista, I think, is the most... Uh, she's gone the deepest in the rabbit hole of the pandemic. <laughs> I, I had to because my mom... The, the video is boomer bait. We, and <laughs> we probably shouldn't even say those things because the algorithm is probably That's like hypersensitive yeah. to those uh, things. Is this the my, video that she that you found her falling Yeah, for? my mom sent it to me and she was like, is this real? And I had to like walk her through. No, it's not. Like, so you watched it? I, I watched part of it and I just got annoyed immediately. I saw part of it too. Yeah, I yeah. haven't watched it, so I don't know much about it. But there is a video out there and it claims that uh, the whole thing is a hoax and it's moving. Uh, now, my question has always been, why? Why would you do it? Because it seems like everybody's suffering economically. The answer they give is uh, forced vaccinations and stuff like that. But It's interesting that the woman who produced the video just released a book as well that you can buy on Amazon. Check it out. Link in the description. And, and she's some or, kind of biologist or something, right? But one yeah. that's kind of been... Discredited. Yeah. Multiple yes. times. Discredited is the word you're looking for. So the yeah. question is, when you have something like this, is it better to try to hide it? Or is it better to get it out into the sunshine where people can, you know, respond Dissect to it? it? Yeah. The social media companies seem to be taking the former approach, but not successfully. Yeah. The viral conspiracy theory video test companies misinformation policies so what's happening is that this is being removed which is only making people more suspicious of the companies that are removing this and this is this yeah. is terrible this this video is just like super awful and bad and if you have an ounce of critical thinking you like yeah, it's not it's not going to fool you but i guess people are so dumb that this is a problem well it took me like 10 minutes to do a google search about the people who made this film and it was like oh oh this is what's happening but like my mom just didn't even think to do it and so now it's being shared all over the internet also 26 minutes that's like a sweet spot that's like a strong yeah. <laughs> you get your information in there they don't have time to get bored you scare Let's just them say, the person who made the film like who actually produced it the filmmaker i think they also produced greatest hits about the 2012 end of the world scenario nice <laughs> so thanks high Mines. quality i totally forgot yeah. about the 2012 end of yeah the world. Oh, that That's their a, other claim to fame. That so. was a fun thing. For the mind calendar while. ends. It's like, do you think they needed to plan that far into the future? <laughs> well, we had the Y2K bug. Nobody died. Come on. <laughs> that was from not planning too far <laughs> enough into the future. Theirs was for planning too far into the future. Yeah, maybe they saw the whole Cortez thing coming. <laughs> I just so, kind of wish like YouTube had just left this up. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a bad People move. Put the mind. banner around it to be like, this is wrong. But I think it this was... Is it wasn't it more Facebook than YouTube that was <laughs> well it was it was being shared so like it was being shared on Facebook by mostly older people let's be honest and then it was like a YouTube link but the YouTube link keeps getting deleted but then people just re-upload it somewhere else what we can do is institute a colored border it's like you know a light teal color indicates a satire or something that's not real news would be red of course yeah but the people sharing this are going to share it as real <laughs> yeah well they can't override that the power but then the you give it Facebook. Dude. <laughs> yeah. You know how dangerous that is. <laughs> I just want to see the lulls. I want to see the chaos for the lulls. But see now, if you really want to go conspiracy theory, if you if you want to go like experienced hardcore, been at it for years, this is just controlled opposition to hide the the vaccine tattoos. <laughs> You can go as deep as you want with that rabbit hole. Like you can just like <laughs> move, counter move. 
Well, we've had a nice history of chatbots who were designed to learn how to communicate from the internet at large. And universally, they were driven insane in short order and had to be put down. And the latest one comes from one of the most horrible vipers nests on the internet. <laughs> Facebook is using 1.5 billion Reddit posts to create a chat bot. This right here, this is the end of humanity, folks. I would expect <laughs> that chat bot to just only communicate in puns. And then be like, thanks for gold, dear friend. <laughs> God, what a terrible website. I would way if I was stuck on a desert island, I would take the the one that 4chan taught <laughs> over this one for sure. <laughs> the uh, Boston Dynamics Spot we have seen being used in a variety of ways. Most recently, Spot was the uh, intake for hospitals at the triage centers, which was cool. It's nice to see Spot doing that. This one may be a little bit more dystopian. But still, when I watch this video of Spot just trotting through the park, I just feel happy about it. <laughs> Spot the robot is reminding park goers in Singapore to keep their distance from one another. I like how everybody's wearing the mask as, as they should. Is, is the old lady got hers over her face or did they just blur it? Like they didn't want to show her whole face for identity purposes? Because it looks like she's just wearing a mask over everything. No, no, it's uh, just because she's in the shadow of the tree. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, basically it's got a camera on it and someone is piloting it. It's not automated. And apparently it plays a message, but they didn't put that in the video. I thought that would be useful to put in the video. Uh, there was a, there was a, one of the comments or something on this had a link to an animated GIF of this same robot where they put, you know, the really horrifying, like surprised horse rubber head. They put that on the, that. And so it's just walking <laughs> around with the surprise just horse. Just some practical joke. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> But it just runs around all day, and I guess if it sees someone, because the camera is manned, if it sees someone doing something it considers not social distancing, it will play the friendly message. <laughs> we need those in Walmart, like tomorrow. How great would it be if it just followed the people who came there as a group around and just harassed them? <laughs> My freedom! <laughs> I want to know what Spot sounds like. What voice would he have? I know. I, I really wish that. I mean, it's just a pre-recorded human, I'm sure, but... I mean, yeah. it's at, at the risk of, you know, I've realized we are on a slippery slope, but there are, it, it seems like there's a lot of people that are like really stressed out and really, they just don't understand the difference between inconvenience and actual oppression. Yeah. And like, I understand you don't want to be made to do things, but these are things that you should be doing just as a courtesy to other human beings. It's... <sighs> and if from Ryan, like chat room, you know it's like it's important because Ryan has a lot of contempt for other human beings. But yeah. even he's wearing it's But when it comes to like, there's some just there's some, some things that make a lot of sense. I don't want to be told what to do either. I got hate authority. <laughs> but a turn signal, it makes sense. <laughs> and it's so it's just this little. It's like half a calorie of effort. <laughs> so easy. Too much. <laughs> That's the that's the next level one T shirt that's gonna sell a thousand T shirts is a uh, you know it's like Ryan says use your turn signal. Oh, no. That's half a calorie. <laughs> it's probably not even half a calorie, right? Wear a mask. It's a common courtesy. Somebody who's in the medical field, tell me how how many what's the caloric cost of flipping a turn signal? Uh, continuing on with the robot section, uh, this unfortunately. We didn't do it first. We're jumping on the bandwagon here because uh, was it Japan? I think it was uh, Korea. Korea was doing this weeks ago. Yeah. Robots to the rescue. Arizona students in lockdown will still get their graduation day. So yeah, they're just iPads on scooters. Interestingly enough, whereas the Koreans did it live, these guys pre-recorded their speech. Hmm. Which I guess is less personal. I don't know. Does it matter then? It's like maybe they just put pictures of the students on the iPads and they send that through. And it's like you don't even get to. Or just have a website with a gallery of their faces and you can click on them and watch the video. But no one yeah. would do that because no one wants to go to a graduation. Yeah. You're just making your family miserable. Now you're doing it remotely. So I don't know. That's Congratulations on your half year of education. That you paid full price for. How long until they realized that they could just make the entire 
graduation ceremony and OBS macro, and then those people don't have to have to run the graduation either. It's like you, the students just have an AI do it. Yeah, well, it's like yeah. okay, film yourself on a green screen going through the motions for a thing, and we'll incorporate it. Upload it to the website, and we'll incorporate those it. People will be putting in like communist manifestos <laughs> and stuff, and they're like, like terrorism. There'd be, there'd be a big scandal. It's like the dean of students would be like, "Congratulations, <laughs> student, on your." <laughs> They put Hitler's face in there. The, the first time they tried that. Yeah, you can't do that. This sounds like a project that we should participate in. <laughs> it's like, it's like deep faking the thing and just completely wreck everything. It's like, oh. Well, moving on to the nonsense section. Now, our first nonsense story is not really nonsense, but these animal stories, I don't know where else to put them. You know? uh, this one is incredible. This is a, an animal that I had no idea did something this cool. It makes but, me uncomfortable to look at. But it does it. Oh, is this like your fear of holes thing? No, I just don't like bugs. But this bug does a really cool thing. Unfortunately, it does it with the most available material, which, because of us, <laughs> is something bad. Caddis fly larvae now building shelters out of microplastics. So the caddis fly larvae can typically construct protective cases out of sand grains and silk. So these are on the riverbed, basically, and their only protection from predators, because they have no defenses really, is to build themselves a little sort of tunnel tube thing. The problem is that the microplastics are lighter and not as sturdy as the sand that they use. And so the scientists are, have noticed that uh, if they make too much, if they use too much microplastics in making their little tube thing, um, it's gonna be really soft and a predator is gonna be able to just snap them right up. But worse, the predator will then incorporate the microplastics into their digestion system. So the microplastics sort of go in the toxins and all the stuff that go with that will go into the predator that eats that. And then tuna eats that predator. So by the time we get around to eating tuna, we could be eating a lot of microplastics as a result of this. You know what goes great with mercury? Microplastics? A side of microplastic. Nice. Mm. So... Top two, A and B, are correct. These, This is actual like sand and filth and dirt from the riverbed. Yeah, looking good. Now, C, this black part down here, PVC. <laughs> Quite a bit of it, as you can see. Polyvinyl chloride, yeah. Over here, this attractive blue plastic. I mean, this might be bad for him, but look how fabulous that is. Beautiful. And then we have some more extreme cases down here. This guy's really looking good. They also it's a really rich neighborhood. They also mentioned that uh, that shiny blue reflective could actually draw predators. So not only are the predators eating plastic, but they're eating more of the plastic worms than they are of the regular kind because they're easier to see. I wonder if anybody doing archaeology millions of years from now will be able to look at the sediment bed and be like, oh yeah, this is where society destroyed itself. Yeah, I think the signals will be much more obvious. <laughs> the radiation in the atmosphere. The lack of an atmosphere. What's going on with this toolbar? Oh, there's a bug at CNN's website. No. It's wow. A... Way to they go, had, CNN. They had the banner ad, and they made it too small when they shrunk it. It was like, okay, we're closed the banner ad, and then now it's gone. Disgusting. Disgusting, CNN. And this story is disgusting overall. <laughs> <laughs> and terrifying. Uh, the bad thing has been found in men's semen. Uh-oh. They talk about how um, this also happened with uh, SARS and something else. And because that you know area of the reproductive system is basically privileged when it comes to the uh, immune system, your immune system. Your immune system has a hard time cleaning stuff out from there. And so this can linger there for a long time. So it may be transmittable that way, which would be a problem. Especially, I this has been news for a while. Like, didn't they do South Korean trials that found the same thing? Yeah, well, I think this is sort of confirming that stuff. But, of course, if it's in your poop, yeah. you got to yeah. think. Now, this is going to be bad because when the lockdown is lifted, yeah, it's going to be like just a big, disgusting orgy. You know, people <laughs> are just going to be like just spotting each other across the street and then just running and, you know, like Let's hope that on. vaccine comes sooner rather than later. Yeah, so it could get a lot of reinfection rate just because of the you know the the filthy summer of love that's going to come when we get out of this thing. summer winter spring following summer <laughs> the fall of desperation yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah autumn of desperation i guess sounds better <laughs> so watch out for that maybe wrap it up you know a couple of extra months or forever because kids are just as bad as coronavirus 
Oh, I said it. <laughs> That's why you joined Patreon right there. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this story uh, is this is one of those videos that makes me like I get a physical reaction to it, and I know I should stop watching it, but I can't because I enjoy the anger at the same time that it drives me crazy, and I watch it like three or four times, and then I'm just I haven't watched it still. Then I have to take a hate nap. <laughs> Alberta stormtrooper bloodied during blaster related police response on May the fourth. So she was hired for uh, a promo for a comic book store, which is right around the corner. Like I think it was actually like a restaurant or something. Or some, well, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, but, but it's on was, the corner. It's it right there. Star Wars thing. Yeah, this is their parking lot that she's in, not on the street. She's in their parking lot. Yeah. So the police thought she had a weapon or whatever, and they went. They just they did not de-escalate at all. A blaster. It was very bad. Now this girl, uh, because she was wearing this giant helmet, as you can imagine. Man, I, are you as shocked as I am how unpleasant masks are? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I wore one the other day. It's I mean, bad. I've been wearing like a bandana before, but like the bandana is nothing compared to an actual like mask that filters out more. I think back to all of the uh, villains and, you know, like pop culture people who always wore masks. And it's like how miserable was Shredder from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Maybe it was a survival thing. It was like Darth Vader. He's like, he's got to have his oxygen or well, whatever. Yeah, but he had, that was helping him breathe. So I don't think he minded as much as the other people. I mean, I'm sure he was in, it was uncomfortable. You know, Constant pain. Yeah. But masks, man. I, yeah. I always thought, you know, the, the characters with masks were cool. I, I didn't realize how unpleasant that would be. Anyway, she couldn't hear what these guys were screaming at her and to get on the ground and, and drop her weapon. So, and so, and also teenage girl. Yeah. So she was just weeping and terrified the entire time. And uh, apparently slamming her on the ground, they bloodied up her nose and roughed her up a little bit. All because a Star Wars blaster. People are terrible. Police uh. chief has said that this was wrong and they, they need to be <laughs> trained, you know, retrained. <laughs> but unless that retraining involves each of them in turn having that plaster inserted into their asshole, it won't be enough. Uh, the uh, the owner of the restaurant can also be heard in the video screaming at them like, she's my employee! Yeah. But it doesn't matter at that point. Yeah. Because they have, they've committed to this stupidity. Yeah. They have to play it out. Because you can never admit that you're wrong if you're the Chinese government or a cop. <laughs> now, Krista, we've talked about... Uh, Black holes that can uh, move themselves. Yes. We've talked about black holes that have a ranged attack where they can fire energy in your direction. But now, how about you can add stealth <laughs> to that list? I think that was always on the list. The closest black, black hole. hole. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, no. Closest black hole to Earth found hiding in plain sight. This is the apocalypse event for June, and I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> disappointing massive cosmic object lurks in a star system you can see with the naked eye so close is a relative term here it's like 3,000 yeah. light years yeah but still we didn't know that one was this you know just uh, just cre who knows where another one could just be just lurking you don't you never know when they're going to come what kind of attack they're going to use <laughs> as they approach they can literally dilate time <laughs> just warp in pluck krista individually and not affect anybody else just pluck her yeah. out of her apartment <laughs> her and Rue send them on an adventure in space there have been a number of unexplained disappearances that. throughout history they're all due to micro black holes they just <laughs> get them so yeah think about that when you're out wearing your mask you're worried about trivial things it could be much worse there was a story it was like a year ago I guess no we did a follow up like three months ago because it but, seemed like they were about to get approval no but they they didn't get them approved for the u.s but they used them somewhere else yeah i think it was south america somewhere right yeah and uh they're like oh yeah the offspring are non-viable they won't they, they won't be born it's fine it's perfectly fine and <laughs> that then, wasn't true the offspring were like here we are yeah. super mosquitoes so apparently have they fixed that? I don't know. <laughs> EPA grants first permit to test genetically modified mosquitoes. They've learned from their mistakes. But they're going to try it on Florida first because really, could anything make the Florida mosquitoes worse? I mean, really? <laughs> That's great. 
you get your super mosquitoes, and then the first thing they taste after they hatch is meth. <laughs> I call them gator mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the way it works is, uh, and this actually I didn't realize this, but like some of the offspring are viable, but only males apparently. Although the story from before, it was like that whole Jurassic Park thing. Yeah. Or it's like, oh, wait, there's some females. <laughs> Nature finds a way. They do admit here that they're not real sure what would happen if these things started, you know, like thriving and breeding because they could be more uh, effective at carrying diseases or they might be resistant to pesticides. We don't know. This is a crazy new, you know, basically a, a lab grown mosquito. Let's just release them. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And it's weird that we're doing this right as Bill Gates gains more power. Because <laughs> these are Bill Gates mosquitoes. Careful, you're going to get our channel deleted. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord Gates. <laughs> Actually, I think in the Civil War, I'm going with Bezos. <laughs> yeah, Bezos, uh, you know, Bill Gates seems to have smelled it out a bunch in his old age. I would take like 20 something Bill Gates against modern day Bezos, though. I don't know if Gates ever had the bloodlust. I think he's more like a spider working from the from behind the scenes. No, you watch some of those old videos, like pre-trial, like before he had the government <laughs> trial. He was just like, I, you know, I am the law. I'm unstoppable. And then he had the trial, and he's like, it took a little bit of the wind out of his sails. I think what's going to happen is that you know, so at first you'll have three factions. Musk will be like the third faction, and whoever he he can't win because you know he's all hype. Whoever gobbles him up gets the major advantage of it. <laughs> It's like Highlander. They take the West Coast. <laughs> We've seen a lot of botnets. And uh, generally, botnets do two things. They try to expand themselves. And then they do something terrible like ad, you know, malware with uh, serving ads or more often cryptocurrency, something like that. They, the, the payload does something terrible. Which is what makes this one kind of refreshing. <laughs> For eight years, a hacker operated a massive IoT botnet just to download anime videos. It was over 10,000 DVRs and uh, network video recorders. Because I guess he just needed somewhere to put the, uh, the anime. Do you think it was... Like... When he downloaded it, did he just download it from all of those? They have like one segment stored on each one? or Probably. And prob just the just the being able to turn that many machines onto a source, but also to be that uh, kind of a repository means that it's not ever going to be taken offline. You can like play whack a mole, but with that many devices, you'll never get it all offline. So these were D links, and uh, at this point, they're pretty much no one's running them anymore, or very few because they're so old. So they've known about this for a while, but they've uh, failed to report on it. Because they felt this guy was so non-offensive. <laughs> and he was actually patching the devices to keep other malware off of it. So like, you know what? Let's just let him do it. <laughs> A Bless small price to pay. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> he ain't hurting no one. Yeah, and... Uh, It'll probably turn out to be like some 11-year-old kid living in the woods and... But it went on so long, so he still had... He had to be much older when it was <laughs> over, so... Yeah. Do you think he, how much the anime did he actually watch? Did he actually watch all of it or was it just data hoarding? It was probably like me with Star Trek where it's just on in the background 24 seven. While he's writing new malware. Yeah. Hong Kong, a uh, couple of interesting stories out of Hong Kong. So Hong Kong, of course, before the world went crazy was in the midst of their pro-democracy struggle and it never really ended, but it certainly got sort of muted during all of that. And now, it seems to be heating back up as China uh, recovers from the big crisis and things are getting crazy again in a different way. Hong Kong parliament in chaos as politicians fight for chair, literally fighting for chair. The pro-Beijing and pro-democracy lawmakers will clash over who will control the House committee. And yes, it has, it has gone to fisticuffs. His mask got ripped off. Look at that. Poor guy. I couldn't get these to play earlier. I don't know if they got taken down or... Uh, I don't know. So anyway, I didn't. I had trouble understanding this. I don't know if you got more yeah. out of it than I did, but there's a stalemate in terms of this elected position. But whoever sits in this chair makes certain decisions in the parliament. That's what I got. Is that what you got out of it? Yeah. 
And so rather than like try to, you know, they're in a deadlock. So somebody needs to do something. So it was literally like somebody just ran and jumped in the chair and started making announcements. (laughs) And so that resulted in a melee and they're claiming that the pro-democracy people are violent because I am the chair. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. So I love uh, this like video clip. It's like someone's about to catch hands in the parliament. Oh, he's got his, yeah. But yeah, look he's at got his like fists up. Look at his elbows flared out. That man has never thrown a punch. <laughs> but God bless him. He's he's willing to do it. You know, you got to respect the the pro democracy. But good, but uh, I don't think he's he's really going to telegraph those. <laughs> he's to tuck those elbows in, use his hips. And the other Hong Kong story has to do with. These, uh, the pro democracy people, they did something very pragmatic. They're like, okay, hey, some of some people in Hong Kong want democracy and some don't. So, you know what? We're only going to do business with the people who want democracy. And the government reaction was weird, <laughs> harsh, and swift. Hong yeah. Kong goers uh, or Hong Kongers support of pro democracy shops, quote unquote, violates the free market, says Beijing. So, I don't, I mean, that's, you know, here it's a vote with your wallet, right? Yeah, well, that was the response they gave was, what could be more democratic <laughs> than choosing where to shop based on, you know, the belief system? And the government says, no, you have to be equal. You have to shop at all the different places, regardless of their political affiliation. Which <laughs> That seems like that won't end badly. Yeah. Look, I don't really agree with what chick-fil-a believes <laughs> but i can't give up that delicious chicken it's so they're tendies i drove by there and there were a lot of people eating there. It, i've given up i mean that parking lot it's you know they do that uh like bring it to your car doesn't matter every spot is full yeah i've seen where there's no parking spots and you can't go inside yeah that's a good piece of chicken. Listen, <laughs> i'm sorry to the homosexual community but oh, it's delicious <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe I would do it for pro-democracy. You know, that affects me a little bit more. So uh, I imagine, I don't think we've done stories about it, but we talk about Cloudflare and uh, Zoom and all these companies that are just making a ton of money. I imagine Pornhub <laughs> clocking in some, uh, in the, in the, some in the big thing. numbers. Yeah. But some people don't like it. Credit card freeze has been called on for porn sites. This is a, uh, in the UK, before you uh, you get worried about anything, uh, I didn't really take much more away from the article other than, oh, this is exploitive and we shouldn't do this and let's let's turn off the credit cards. Yeah, they don't want <clears throat> credit card companies to uh, do business. Kind of like what they tried with the gun companies here. It's yeah. Like, oh, and the weed companies. And Julian Assange. The weed companies... Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's a smaller example. Did we ever? We talked about him last week. Did, I don't. I don't know what's, I don't going, know on what's going on with him. him. Yeah, he's probably just drowning in his own lungs <laughs> in the basement of one of those UK jails. There's a there's a an aerosolizer that's just giving him a puff of the thing <laughs> every hour. It's like you will get horribly infected with this. Also, I just noticed it, but uh, Megan Mohan is, of course, the gender and identity correspondent at the BBC. Nice. What a job title. So yeah, they, they they don't want porn for a variety of reasons. But uh, I don't think you're going to stop that juggernaut. <laughs> it's going to exist. I thought you cut the next story because it's a little tone deaf, but it's worth a mention. <laughs> well, that's why it's in the nonsense. Tone deaf. All of the yeah. celebrities are very tone deaf right now. Well, I mean, this is just completely outrageous. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, well, uh, we'll just, we'll just do the headline there. Kevin Spacey compares the uh, the current crisis to losing work after sexual assault allegations. And it's like, I don't think those are related. And then well, he goes on to try to explain it. And it's like, no. Let's just, let's, let's as a thought exercise, let's go through this. Now, could we compare walking through a cloud of virus to molesting young boys? <laughs> let's, see, let's do column A and column B. I've been molested by the virus. <laughs> Unknowingly, but he was never molested. <laughs> or maybe he was, but that's not what caused the problem. So well, yeah, he seemed to be saying that the, those accusations were unfounded, but he still had it still had consequences. I think they're pretty founded at this point. Yeah, but yeah, he's saying that he understands what it's like to be put out of work unexpectedly, and uh, 
He really felt his pain as he told us this from his mansion <laughs> with his millions of dollars that he still has. Not from a prison <laughs> where you usually go. Prison to, is not reserved for people like him. Do that kind of thing. Tony. Celebrities are just like us. <laughs> do you think I put that in there in support of Kevin Spacey? How dare they? <laughs> But I mean, it's just like over the top because it's like, is this, this has got to be like, you know, I, 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 halfway through, I was like, I expected to hear, uh, and this is Saturday night or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. They play by different rules. <laughs> Roman Polanski raped his daughter. <laughs> the, uh, the mask, like I said before, I've joined the mask team. I'm doing it. It's uncomfortable, but it's the least that we can do. And, uh, it really, really looks bad when you avoid the mask just because it's uncomfortable. Could there be a worse reason to avoid the mask? <laughs> Ohio lawmaker refuses to wear a mask because he says it dishonors God. Uh, now, does this propose that God wears clothing? Such a, a physically minded interpretation. That it makes no sense to me. Well, that's the whole like you know we're made in His image thing, but we're physically not ma- maybe or we're like not made with clothes. Is it only physically? Like that's. I think somebody should turn this into some sort of like, uh, what is it? Uh, the like anti uh, Arab or anti Muslim sentiment is like no, it was part of their religion. You know, their face covering is a kind of a thing. Did you see that? Uh, some of those doctors are shaving their beards, oh, which yeah. is not allowed. But they're like, you know what? We got to do this. This is we're going to be pragmatic here. So if they can do that, this asshole can put on a mask <laughs> or pants, as the it's, case may be. Ohio's, I think, uh, like response to all this has been pretty good overall. I kept expecting him to be like, no, no, there was a burning bush, and we had a dialogue about this, but you know, it wasn't that. So I don't think he really knows. And what a weird thing to to fight about yeah do you think he has like a phobia of masks or something probably or it's just on a power trip yeah it's like I don't want to wear one so it's interesting that uh, you know we've spent all this time at this point thinking about the zombie apocalypse and now we kind of get just a little taste of the apocalypse (laughs) and it's nothing like we were prepared for it's no. not exciting at all. It's a little bit terrifying, not really. I'm out of milk, no cereal this week for me. Oh, toilet paper. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of a, it really has taken all of our fantasies about the end of the world and turned them on their head. But some people aren't willing to give it up. German zombie hunters have stopped at the Swedish border with car full of weapons and a number of illegal weapons. They were arrested. In this case, illegal weapons are like what you find at the toy section for us. Yeah, but like crossbows. Not a very covert vehicle. No. And it does say infected people will be shot. Although they don't have any actual firearms. They've got a crossbow. You can still shoot someone with a crossbow. Well, that's true. You can shoot people with crossbows. Can't argue with that. So they claimed that they didn't know that that stuff was illegal in Germany. And they were just going to their cabin in the woods to have a little vacation time. Maybe our car with this custom paint job was a bad idea <laughs> how how much do the german police want to asset forfeiture that vehicle oh a lot oh man yeah they're really yeah. excited it's like look at look at what we added to the fleet it's like wait no <clears throat> and they just uh just mark out infected people and just put black people <laughs> the work from home stuff is uh, putting people in weird positions because you might have to t- keep your kids, you know, like out of the shot. And uh, a lot of those CNN anchors and stuff like that, you see their kids will run by and it's like, oh no. <laughs> and, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's fun. It kind of humanizes the whole experience. But sometimes it's uh, worse than that, depending on what shows up in your background, in your Zoom background. <laughs> News anchor allegedly caught cheating when half-naked woman walks into a live shot, which we can actually show on the news. It's really exciting. There's a screenshot. Yep, right there. I like that they put a red circle in case you don't know what happened. <laughs> in case the naked woman doesn't draw your eye. 
Oops. Now, it's like, oh, wow, that's his wife. How embarrassing. Oh, it's not. No. It's not his wife. Now, he claims that it's not a big deal because he and his wife had broken up prior to this. But we know exactly when it was because it was a newscast. And the wife says, no, we weren't broken up. But we are now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she was a colleague at the news station. Mm, that's rough. And uh, I, I hope that this one is just... Uh, one guy started this as a, a parody. I know that much. <laughs> and yeah. other people may or may not be doing it ironically. I don't know. What do you think? I think this is a sign that uh, society's on the verge of collapse and we're doomed as a species. Well, that's obvious. But on TikTok. They all copy each other. Let's hope that no one is doing this for real. It is the, the latest new craze now. Of course, we have the Tide Pods. We had the uh, boiling water. Was Clorox one of them? I think yeah. so. What was the Cinnamon there? Challenge was like one cinnamon. of the OGs. <laughs> there have been so many. This one is very simple and not dangerous. You can say that for it. <laughs> but maybe one of the most moronic. People on social media are peeing their pants on video because of lockdown boredom. Yeah, that's literally it's just a TikTok where it's like, let's see what happens. That's it. I guess both of these screenshots are pre peeing your pants because I don't see any. Oh, there's a little bit on the blue. Oh, I, I, yeah. I can't, it's hard to tell. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just pop yourself in front of your mirror. Make sure you get a full body shot and uh, let it go. Oh, no. I know. Has it frozen? Oh, it froze for a sec. Hopefully it's fine. I don't know what happened there, but I think we're okay. <laughs> Woo! For the I, I know I'm getting older because I just don't understand the appeal of TikTok. But that's like all the kids use. I don't yeah. get the appeal. I can't tell you what it is because I don't use it either. But. <laughs> it would be funny to do one of those, but you know, I have a have have it rigged up somehow <laughs> where the fluid starts appearing and like where your knee is. <laughs> or use like a red dye. <laughs> 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 so, oh, and then you like, cut it right there. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's what. So if you're gonna do that, you try to be creative. You know, that's the point we're trying to make here. You know, don't just don't follow the herd, lead it. And our final story. Now, I I was not aware of this as of last Sunday. Krista turned me on, and since then, I, it's everywhere. I can't get away from the murder hornets. They, the world is captivated. <laughs> the media is trying desperately to turn media hornets into a thing, and they're not really a thing. Media hornets? <laughs> so, the murder hornet is the apocalypse bingo event for May. <laughs> yeah, Next month so, is the black hole. So, uh, it turns out that uh, we're finding out about these here in the West, but you know the, the rest of the world has been aware of them, or you know, at least the, the Asian part of the world has been aware of them for a very long time. Not only aware of them, but using them for culinary treats. <laughs> murder, murder, murder hornet munchies. The horrifying insect makes a tasty treat. I don't think that's true. No, you don't know. Not only can you yeah, eat them, they offer I don't a, know if uh, I feel comfortable boozy eating. buzz when mixed with uh, sochu alcohol. I, well, the thing I like about the murder hornet is because like the coloration on its face, it always looks like it's a little bit angry and disappointed with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they have YouTube videos here of people that here they are just on skewers. These are served with Stinger. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess, how, how do you not get that poked into the roof of your mouth? I feel like there's so much comedy opportunity here if Venture Brothers were still online. They're still, they were still making the Venture Brothers because, uh, you know, Dr. Girlfriend and, and uh, that whole thing. Like, they could just have a field day with this. Now here's the what was it called shochu or something like that? Yeah, I think yeah, it's like alcohol. a South Korean yeah. drink. So you uh, you put those in there with the vodka, and the venom comes out, and then you let it ferment for a, mm. a series of months so that the venom you know mellows. Then you drink that. Mm. Looking at the drink Pass. in the video, like just scrolling through and like looking at, it's like brown. That does yeah, not that's, look like it. Those are out there looking for, for oh, a way to oh, get smacked. Oh. Because it's fermented. Oh, yeah, it does yeah. look like sewage, doesn't it? 
Yeah. It does. It does Perhaps. not look tasty or appetizing. I wish that guy wasn't standing in front of it the entire time. So, yeah. God, that is an animated YouTube presenter, isn't it? Mm. I, I know that we need to be like a that. A dark future. I know that we need to yeah. be like that to get more people to watch, but I just can't do it. I'm dark. sorry. Yeah, I don't have that level of enthusiasm in my body. I don't think I could fake it. Well, so that's it. That's it for the news this week. You know, the I black could. holes are coming for you, and if they don't get you, the hornets will, <laughs> and if they don't get you, the virus. Your engagement challenge is to go check out those Linode links. That would be good. Please. Yeah. Learn how to self-host before any one of these deadly plagues takes you out. Oh, yes. Definitely for sure. Thank you, guys. See you next week. Next week. Krista, give us a murder hornet goodbye. <laughs> 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 I don't know what that was. He clipped out. That's what that it's, was. It's fine. All right. See you next week. Mm-hmm.